And I've asked you to denounce Mao, Mao Zedong. I've asked you to denounce Joseph Stalin. I asked you to denounce. And you want to denounce? I asked you now. to denounce Donald Trump. <laughs> okay. You're making, I asked quite, you to you're, denounce you're making Trump. quite the intellectual leap. I'm talking I about asked genocide you to and mass Donald Trump. <laughs> okay, he's not I a asked communist. You right to, here. I asked you to denounce Donald Trump. This is quite the intellectual leap, Frank. Remember, let's talk about Venezuela. Let's Venezuela, talk about Donald Trump. Frank, remember, Waters, I would think that this would be the most bipartisan bill. And the fact that this isn't passing on suspension just says everything about my friends across the aisle that you can't condemn socialism. I mean, in your opening remarks, you were talking about Putin, Kim Jong-un, and Z. You know what they all have in common, right? Trump. <laughs> Trump? <laughs> North, North Korea, China, and Russia? He loves Kim Jong-un. That, that's quite the intellectual leap. I would say communism. Uh, would you like to denounce any communist leaders? Well, I don't know what you're asking, but let me just... The leader of the Republican Party, Donald Trump, has made often glowing, described authoritarians like Kim Jong-un, who is condemned in the resolution regarding North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. Trump uh, said, Kim wrote me beautiful letters, and they're great letters, and we fell in love. You sure you want to hear the rest of this? Yeah, I can go through some atrocities, and you can... You can say if you agree with them or not. You can choose to denounce them. If you'd like to go down that path, we can. What would you like to do? Well, um, I would like to condemn this resolution and ask uh, that we all uh, give attention to the very short time that we have to do the people's work and pull it back and not even go any further with it. Why don't you just redraw it? All right. So Mao Zedong is responsible for between 15 million and 55 million people starving to death with a great leap forward in the Cultural Revolution. Do you denounce that? Yes or no? But Trump loves him. Yes or no? That's do, your leader. Do you, de do you denounce the genocide That's the starvation your Trump of Trump is your leader. China? He speaks for you. He says he loves him. You ought okay, to deal so you're, with that. You're, de you're, you're refusing to denounce the starvation of 15 to 55 million people in communist China. You're, you're refusing to do that. Sir, I'm a capitalist, Okay. I don't support anything but serving the people of this right. country. Re this, I know this is your phrase, but reclaiming my time. And reclaiming my time. It's your time. You got it. Thank you. All right. Would you like to, and, and that's a no, you refuse to denounce that. Stalin, tens of millions died in the Bolshevik Revolution. Millions died in, in gulags. Do you want to denounce that? I'm sorry. I don't deal with yes or no questions. Okay. Well, you can, why don't you explain your support No, why Stalin? don't you explain it? I'm asking you the question. Do you want to denounce that or not? I, I told you in the beginning of this resolution that I discussed right, what so I again, think we ought to be doing. So, so again, but you're refusing you to denounce me, Joseph Stalin. Like we're in the kindergarten class, yes or no, I don't do that. Okay. Again, for the record, you're refusing to denounce Joseph Stalin. Let's go to Pol Pot, the killing fields of Cambodia. Do you want to denounce that? I'm giving you the opportunity. Your Republican leader, Donald Trump, is friends with, supports Putin, Kim Jong-un. He loves him, and he led this country in being basically undermined by January 6th, including not only his leadership in telling his supporters to go after our own police officers here and use the American flag, many of them, to damage and to harm. And you, I haven't heard one denouncement from anybody on the Republican side. Nobody has denounced that, what happened on January 6th. Are you afraid of Trump? Do you agree with Trump? Ask him the questions. Don't ask me. Okay, so just to be clear, I asked you a question about Pol Pot and you started talking about the former president. Again, do you, do you denounce the killing fields of Cambodia or not? It's a simple question. You know that you're simply playing politics. You understand what this resolution is all about. Don't ask me silly questions. I told you, I'm a capitalist. I'm not like Donald Trump. I'm not like Republicans who claim 
to support this democracy, but at the same time refuses to condemn those who attempted to destroy this democracy. You need to talk with your leader, Donald Trump, about what he's doing, why he loves Putin so much, why he loves Kim Jong-un so much. You ask him the questions. So it's quite amazing. I've asked you to denounce Mao Zedong. I've asked you to denounce Joseph Stalin. I asked you to denounce. And you wouldn't denounce any of them. I asked you to denounce Donald Trump. Okay, you're making, I ask quite, you to you're, denounce you're making Donald Trump. quite the intellectual leap. I'm talking I about genocide and mass I ask you to denounce starvation. Donald Trump. Okay, he's not I a communist. Ask you right to, I ask you to denounce Donald Trump. This is quite the intellectual leap, ranking member. Let's talk about Venezuela. Let's Venezuela. talk about Donald Trump. Okay, let's talk about you Venezuela. You answer my question. We are here talking yes about a resolution no. to condemn communism and socialism. Let's talk about Venezuela. Venezuela was at the largest GDP... <laughs> Before Chavez took over, I want now you they're literally eating their dogs because they cannot feed themselves. You want to denounce Donald that? Trump? I want you to denounce the Proud Boys. I want you to denounce QAnon. I want you to denounce the KKK. When you do all of that, then we can talk. Okay, so again, for the record, you've refused to denounce Mao Zedong, Joseph Stalin, Pol Pot, and Hugo Chavez. That's amazing. For the record, Ranking you member. refuse to denounce Donald Trump. You refuse to denounce the insurrection that tried to destroy our democracy. You refuse to denounce the Proud Boys, the Oath Keepers, QAnon, the KKK. You refuse all of that. So I think we've answered the question of why this can't just pass in suspension. Will you answer the questions I ask you? Ranking I know member. this is an unusual meeting of the Rules Committee, but you come in here you come in here with a political attempt to deal with why you don't like and why you don't support Medicare and Social Security. We stand very strongly in support of Social Security and Medicare and our veterans and our seniors. If you want to talk about why you don't support them, then you should go ahead and do that. You're doing a lot of deflecting. I mean, I ask you very simple questions, and you've just done nothing but deflect. So I'm again, asking you simpler questions about yeah. protection for our democracy. Right, well, one thing that I can affirmatively say is that I would denounce Pol Pot, Mao Zedong, Stalin, Lenin, Xi, uh, Mao Zedong. I- I've got no problem denouncing Will you denounce Trump? 